were asking me to post a video about how I use some of my thrifty finds, so I want to show you this curtain that I got for $3.99 at Value Village. So, um, this takes lots of ironing, lots of, um, not starch per se, but I use a spray-on product called Glide. Um, it's a fabric finish that kind of gives it uh, some stiffness and uh, this matches my dining room paint great. So um, if you're looking for a little pick-me-up in your house, don't uh, overlook the drapery section of your thrift store. Uh, just wash and iron and put them up and for three dollars, four dollars, you know, even if you only have them for a season, it's, it uh, changes things up for you. Here's another uh, thrifty find. I got this hutch on um, Facebook. It's, um, it's a good name. It was Ethan Allen uh, and I paid $75 for it I think. Um, my intention is to paint this at some time and I love the front doors are shutters. I think that's going to look really cute. Um, once it's painted and distressed I like the hardware. Uh, but I've been accumulating this uh, collection of iron stone and I just wanted to show you that I had um, a wreath on here at Christmas time but I just used this uh, command hook which comes off just like that. So I'll give you a little look at some of the things that I've got. Um, I think this piece is uh, probably one of the oldest. It's it's called a sugar jar. Um, let's see if it's got a maker's name on it. It's kind of got that blue. Yeah, it does. Uh, it kind of has that bluish tone to it that some pieces of ironstone have. I got quite a number of plates. Um, just to digest you a bit. Uh, this is actually two different covered dishes. Neither one of them has a cover. But, and this one is uh, kind of bluish as well. And that's some more. I'll take you in the kitchen now, show you what I've got there. So here's the cabinets in my kitchen. Let's see if I can get back up. I think I mentioned to you before that I live in a rental. And this cabinet actually didn't come with doors. I'm sure it would be easy to replace the doors. Um, I'm sure they're, you know, the type that you just buy off the shelf at Home Depot or something. So I have some more ironstone here. I really like this pedestal cake plate. Um, but let me show you what I've done. So I've put some more command hooks there at the bottom, uh, just the smallest ones, because I don't want to put any uh, anything permanent in my kitchen cupboards since they're not my kitchen cupboards. But I can move those around, remove them, because um, there's no plate rail in an ordinary cabinet. These are my ordinary day-to-day -day dishes. Let's turn that around. <laughs> so this is uh, Wedgwood Countryside. Whoop, I am totally gonna smash these. And I got these, a whole set, the plates and all of the so that, that gold one is, in, is uh, Doug's mother's, but it's got some, all of these big round vegetable dishes, which I might get out today because I'm cooking a turkey. So I've got this weird window in the kitchen. See the cabinet overlaps the uh, trim on that side, and then on this side, it the cabinets don't go right up to the trim. 
Um, I've got a couple of command hooks there because I had a, a garland hanging and I couldn't figure out how was I going to position a curtain rod and then I came up with an elegant solution to my problem. Hang on. Okay, so here's what I came up with. I had no idea this existed, but that cafe curtain rod is a tension rod. So this is, it's a spring tension rod. Um, and that distance is 37 inches. So that fell right smack in between 28 and 48. Uh, I think I paid, I want to say it was about $6. And the little valets that I got here was $3.99 at Value Village. So there is another thrifty find in use. So here's another example of how I use thrifted items. Uh, the rocks I got on a garage sale at the weekend and these glass pieces um, have also come from thrift stores. Uh, so I'm going to make some really colorful planters with these um, succulent plants. Some of them are really unusual. I haven't seen this one before. It's called a Chinese dunce cap. It's um, it's really lovely. I I uh, looking forward to enjoying that. And this tiny little miniature uh, African violet and and the other ones. Uh, well, that one in the middle there I've seen several times, but this one here, this tall one, kind of looks like a tree. I, I have so here's the finished gardening I've done today. There's that Chinese dun dunce cap. So I think I'm going to be taking these to the office. I do have lots of ledge space to plant put some more plants. Um, running out of space here at home, let me show you some of the plants I've got here. So these are all yard sale finds and thrift store finds. Um, this one I got at a garage sale. I think somebody, I think he gave it to me for free. And the plants actually came from a, a garage sale too. Um, this was a plain unpainted ceramic piece and I brought it home and gave it a coat of white, black and green chalk paint and then added some dark wax and distressing and that one's just going crazy. Those are tiny little, I think that was two tiny little plants and they're just doing really well. There's that teapot that I um, did a couple weeks ago and I haven't repotted any of the plants yet they seem to be going great guns, so I I'm, I might just leave them like that. This one, I believe, if I remember correctly, this was just a plain concrete, and again I added some white chalk paint, um, which I distressed and uh, put in a yard sale plant. And even that bunny inside is from a yard sale. This is was a, a little galvanized watering can I painted, uh, distressed, and added this um, reverse decal. So I used transfer medium and a photocopied image from the internet. Can't hardly see it because of the plant, but it has like a little postage cancellation mark. And this one is doing really well as too. Um, that's a stone mustard jar and this is a little planter that I got looks like a pair of jeans so all of these are doing really well which is unusual for me because I am uh, not exactly a green thumb but I think I have found my element here with succulents because they don't need a lot of care um, you don't water them very often when you do you give them a big drink um, I think I'll add a little more soil to this one, see if uh, we can get that one going a little better. Anyway, so that is a few more thrifty finds in use in my home. Here's another thrifty find I'm going to make over. So I got this at um, the Paper Pound Thrift uh, a couple weeks ago, and it's filthy dirty. The um, 
doily that's in there is gross. So I'm going to see what I can do about taking this apart, cleaning it up, and replacing that doily. Check back in. And here's a little tip. If you're a klutz like me, take a piece of tape, double it up, and put it next to your project so that when you unscrew screws, you can just plop it right there on top of the tape. And you won't lose it, you won't knock them flying, and hopefully you'll have all the parts you started with when your project's over. Here it is. I'm just putting the last screw in, and yep, it's still stuck there to my to my tape. Um, this piece is I don't know much about it. Um, it was really dirty. In fact, I thought it was black, but it's actually dark green with some white paint on top, distressing it. Um, so for that reason, I don't imagine it's very old. Um, but what do I know? Eh. Uh, so I can change out the doily for, in accordance with the season. Um, I can put this on my table to put a centerpiece on. I could put it at the end of the table just to put, you know, condiments and salt and pepper, that sort of thing on. Or I could even grab some of my plants and just put a couple plants on there. Grab another one. And that is just really lovely. In fact, this piece looks like it belongs in a greenhouse. If you're not using thrifted dishes, there's definitely something wrong with your thrift game. There are so many beautiful pieces of china and glass and pottery available for mere pennies of the retail price. Why wouldn't you? So this teacup I got just before Christmas at a thrift store, um, made in England, and it just felt really special being able to use uh, a gorgeous cup like that for my tea. After Christmas is my birthday month, January. So I got this cup at a thrift. And now my birthday month is over into spring. And I recently got this mug. And I think you'll remember me telling the story about getting the saucer in Mississauga. No, it was the other way around. I got the cup in Mississauga and I got the saucer in St. Thomas. So, you know, two places, two, you know, many, many, many kilometers apart. Uh, but there's nothing quite like pouring yourself a nice hot cup of tea. <laughs>